have checked it if it's person. No, carrying on. Be careful, Squire. Of Roslyn near Edinburgh. Welcome. They are making sure that the swords are held high above the horse. So, Sir Checkmate, Sir Robert of Roslyn. Well done, Checkmate. One, two, three, four. Percy! There to make sure that they are not obstructed uh, on the way in. We will bring in the lady and uh, one of the squ squires straight away just to get you all excited. Meanwhile, our knights will line up there at the side. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without further ado, please welcome into the arena my lady Sapphire. <laughs> My lady will help me make sure that all the rules are adhered to today. Oh, there are rumours, of course, that she's already been a bit biased and she has a favourite. Unfortunately, accompanying her at the moment is Squire Stalemate. She is Sir Checkmate Fitzpercy's Squire and he bribed me enough to allow her to come into the arena now, what is that you're carrying, Squire Stalemate? It's a jester stick. Don't make too much of a fool of yourself, then. Of course you can't compete. You're a squire. You're not allowed to compete. Well, maybe let you take part in some of the skillet arms as a bit of training. So, my lady is ready to greet the knights as they come in. And here we are in the orange. competitions but he is battle hardened recently returned from warfare on the continent welcome sir cedric of persia next into the arena squire stalemates master yes! sir checkmate fitz percy from northumberland Sir Checkmate comes from the noble house of Percy, but his heart is not known for its nobility. He does bend the rules somewhat. Welcome, Sir Checkmate. Now, into the arena, from the south of Scotland, from the Fries and Galloway, Sir Archibald Douglas. Welcome, Sir Archibald. A previous winner of these competitions and he's determined to do again the same again today. Let's see how well he does. Well done, Sir Archibald Douglas. But last but no means least, in the red and black, our holy knight, Sir Robert of Roslyn, based at the chapel of Roslyn near Edinburgh. Welcome, Sir Robert! Now, my Lady Sapphire, if you'd be so kind as to lead our gentlemen in a short parade, they will give you a salute! And you keep your behaviour to the best. No carrying on! Of course I'll be well behaved, my lord! So once our knights have given a salute to my lady Sapphire, squires will give out these goblets of wine, our stirrups cups to them. Gentlemen, flags raised please in salute. That's so kind of you, my lord, to think of me with a, wine, a goblet of wine. No, you're, you're a squire. Excuse me, steal me. That's... That is 
just dreadful behaviour. You're making me look like a fool. What do you mean my wine's horrible just because I go for the cheapest that I can get? I'm sorry about that ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's the type of behaviour I have to put up with. So, the comparisons are coming off the horses. Our knights will ride around a little bit, introduce themselves, get their support. Are we going to be cheering for Sir Cedric of Persia in the orange? Will it be in the green and red, Sir Archibald Douglas? Or will it be Sir Robert of Roslyn in the red? Oh, Sir Checkmate. Yes, I suppose we've got to be a bit noble. Are you going to cheer for Sir Checkmate? So, while they're Archibald Douglas is my lady's favourite. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our first skill at arms. Our, our night competitors will each take a sword this time, travel along, see how many coits they can get. That one's a little bit close. Fix them all later, Squire. Later. How many was that for Sir Robert? Three, was it? Four? Three, four, oh, five! Well done, Sir Archibald Douglas, well done. It looks as if my Lady Sapphire's confidence in Sir Archibald is going to be well paid. Next up, Sir Checkmate Fitzpersi. Just four! Sir Archibald is still in... Oh, wait a minute! I told you he cheats! That one does not count, Sir Check. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see if you can do it without your mouth working. Ah, oh, shut it! Sir Cedric, I can understand your impatience, please. Oh, you missed the coins! Oh, excuse me, squires! That's a beating for the squires! They took the coins away too early. Sir Cedric did not get a chance. Can't have a competition without all of the knights getting a chance with everything. Here we go. Come on, Sir Cedric. We know you can do it. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Well done. Now, we are moving on to a cutting action. And unfortunately, you couldn't get any squires to uh, volunteer to have their heads chopped off. So we're using uh, a cabbage instead. Excuse me, squire. Yes, it is a cabbage we are using. Yep. Oh, sorry, squire, really. Uh, but we're going to make it slightly more difficult. This side, we've got an apple. Smaller target, Sir Robert. Proceed when ready. Cabbage first, then the apple. Yes! Both targets taken out. Well done, Sir Robert. Now, Sir Checkmate, and I believe there is a flagon of ale on the, a bet on this one from Sir Robert. So the tilt is ready again, now it is going to have to go themselves. Oh, lovely clean cut! And the apple taken out of contention totally! Well done! <laughs> yes, you, your hero seems to be doing very well, my Lady Sapphire. <laughs> Last again on the skillet arms, but by no means least, Sir Cedric of Perthshire. Oh, Sir Cedric. That is so unlike him. Hard line, Sir Cedric. Your eye was just 
Oh, oh, wait a minute, she's doing it again. Hand it up. <laughs> oh, but again, bad behaviour. I'm going to take points off for Sir Checkmate for that. Excuse me, Sir Checkmate. Stop abusing the audience that way. They may not like pre-chewed cabbage. When Sir Checkmate stops behaving or misbehaving, we will go on with the competition. Get to your end of the arena, Sir Checkmate. Since our knights have swords in hand, we will have what is known as a mounted melee. They will charge down the length of the arena, meet in the middle, do a bit of fighting at each end. Let's see who wins this part of the competition. When you are ready, gentlemen, charge! Being gentlemen, of course, they are making sure that the swords are held high above the horses' heads. We can always replace a knight. Horses are a bit more difficult to come by. Come on, Sir Checkmate, looking good there. Oh, well done. Well defended, Sir Archibald. Another good clash with Sir Robert and Sir Cedric last night. Now the first night, Sir Robert had a rotating head to simulate a knight on horseback. We now have one which spins on a horizontal axis, axis because it's going to mimic a man on foot. Sir Robert, when you are ready. Here comes Sir Robert. What sort of hit is he going to get on the... Oh, a glancing blow. Next up, Sir Archibald Douglas. Here comes Sir Archibald. Well done, Sir Archibald. Let's see what happens. Oh! Have I made this task too difficult? Oh, Sir Robert says the squires are to blame. It was... Yeah! Well done! Not only head over heels, but flat on it. Defend yourselves! Ah. Ah. Be careful, squires! Ah. All right! Ah. Oh, you're not entertained! Well, sir, checkmate, you may have shown the true battle conditions but because of your abuse, abuse of the squires, no foie. How dare you! So, my lady, it was Sir Archibald in the lead earlier, but not so good on the Quintain. I'm going to have to give the points to Sir Cedric of Persia! <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do you think that our knights' competitors are sufficiently warmed up for the next and main part of the competition? What do you want to see? Sorry, Sir Checkmate's old and deaf. He couldn't hear you. What do you want to see? I can't hear you! Do you want to see some dusting? I said, do you want to see some dusting? All right, let's jump there. Well, with nothing else, Sir Checkmate is very good at rabble rousing. And not having been very that you guys out there are a rabble, not at all. So, our knights have been supplied with their helmets, with their shields. Now, Lances will be prepared at each end. 
The jousting competition proceeds in what we call a round-robin fashion. Each of the knights will face all of the others. Should a knight be unhorsed, to yield. And that's the rules. Sir Robert is ready at the palace end. Sir Checkmate Fitzpercy is ready at the gate end. When you're ready, gentlemen. Come on, Sir Robert. Come on, Sir Checkmate. A good hit from both the knights. Solid hits on the shields. And I'll just reiterate, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, coming down the tilt on their horse, they are riding without the use of uh, the rein. Well done, Sir Cedric. I sense a little bit of playing with each other as they see whether their competitor has a certain technique. Here it comes Sir Cedric again against Sir Archibald. Good one. Well done, Sir Cedric and Sir Archibald. Sir Archibald will now return. This time he will face the checkmate Fitz Percy. Come on, Sir Archibald. Yes. A really good hit on Sir Checkmate Shield, forcing him to drop it. Now Sir Checkmate will return, and I must admit, hands up to the squires, they've been so efficient, I'm not having to shout at them much. Well done! So, Sir Checkmate, Sir Robert of Roslyn! Well done, Checkmate. Lovely solid hit there. So Sir Robert is just about ready to return from the gate end. He's now going to face Sir Cedric. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, a broken lance! Sir Cedric has hit Sir Robert with sufficient force to actually break the lance tip. Hopefully he's not injured Sir Robert too much. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give him some support. Get him back up in vertical. Come on, Sir Robert. Come on. We know you can do it. Still, mate, stop that. Go on, hit it. A lovely hit from Sir Archibald that time. So, one last step on him. No, not this time. Sir Robert was successfully able to deflect the lance away from himself. Much better that time, Sir Robert. Well done. Good jousting, though, Sir Cedric. Anyone supporting Sir Cedric? Yeah. Who's supporting my lady's favourite, Sir Archibald Douglas? Oh, slightly bigger cheer there, I'm afraid, Sir Cedric. You need to gather your support. Come on, Sir Checkmate. Oh, well done, gentlemen. If I wasn't such a big fierty cat, I would get a bit closer and you'd actually hear the thunks of the lances on the shields if you can't actually hear them from away over there. But I'm staying well out of the way. Come on, Sir Checkmate. Sir Robert. Oh, another good hit. Well, stalemate cheering for her master. Thinks he's going to do really well. But no, ladies and gentlemen, we think it's going to be one of the other nights, don't we? Will it be Sir Cedric? Will it be Sir Robert? Well done, gentlemen. 
such a good competition. This is going to be watching up. So, checkmate Chris Percy just about ready to go from the Palace End, facing Sir Cedric. Here we go. Oh, and it's another throw. It's Sir Cedric down. But get him up, ladies and gentlemen. He's got to yield. Get him up. Make sure he defends himself. Come on, Sir Cedric. Back up again. We, we know you're not out of this, Sir Cedric. Come on, Sir Cedric. Oh. Yes. What can he do to fight against a man on horseback with plans? So what's going to happen? Sir Cedric has been forced to yield! A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for a gallant and noble competitor! Well done, Sir Cedric, well done. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are down to three competitors. Sir Robert! Sir Archibald! And unfortunately, because of downing one man, our current leader, Sir Jeremy Fitzpelsey! So, the juice continues. At the palace end, we will have Sir Archibald Douglas. He's going to be Sir Robert Rodland. Come on, gentlemen. Here we go again. Oh, well done. It's up to one of these two gentlemen to force a checkmate out of the competition. Eight points. So Sir Archibald will now return against our current leader. Come on, Sir Jamie. Come on, Sir Archibald. Oh! Sir Jamie does seem to be on for him. That's another night. He's nearly on horse. Too easy! Come on, Sir Archibald. Stay up there, Sir Archibald. Looking somewhat. Now is the checkmate for face of Robert. Another good hit. Are we going to see the checkmate take the silver trophy in this first half? I think stalemate is cheating for him so much because he gets extra points and he can be win. Well done, gentlemen. Keeping this competition live and open. Well done. Turn from the gate end. He's going to be subject to Miss Percy. Get on, Sir Archibald. Well done. Oh! A good hit on Sir Checkmate! Well done, Sir Archibald. Well done. I think all that's going to do, unfortunately, is get Sir Checkmate's blood boiling. Come on, Sir Robert! Sir Archibald is short the way! Oh! They're both down! Squires! Get them up on their feet! They must still face off again!
against each other. What happened? What happened? Come on, Sir Robert, on your feet. Where is he? Sir Jake is looking dreadfully gazed over there. I'm no sorry, that's just his natural look. Come here, Sir Robert! Come on, Sir Robert! Sir Robert, shield and sword! Sir Jackmate, mace and shield! Come on! Not too much assistance. It looks as if they're not competing properly. Here we go! On foot! Jackmate's down again! But he's still fighting on! Oh, he's got his Robert now! Excuse me, gentlemen, no wrestling here. Come on, Sir Robert. Oh, he's disarmed. Sir Robert has been disarmed. Come on, Sir Jenkins. Come on, Sir Robert. Yes, that's it. Defend yourself. Regain that sword, Sir Robert. Oh. He's battering him to death here. Sir, sir Checkmate, Steelmate wants you to up on your feet again. Come on, my lord, get up, otherwise any Sir Archibald will leave the competition. Sir Robert, please stretch it off. Squire, Squire, I fear I cannot continue. Apart from that gentleman over there. Yes, he's getting up. He's getting up. Squire, he's elevated. I cannot continue. But I, Sir Checkmate Fitzpercy, hereby dubs you Sir Stalemate, rise yes. and fight in my honour. <laughs> Excuse me. No, no, no. I have to consult my. Check my rule book. Yes, it is allowed. Checkmate is allowed to knight stalemate and allow her to continue in his place. So Cedric, you allowed her to steal your horse. That still means My lady's favourite, Sir Archibald Douglas, against the newly knighted Stilby! So, is it going to be the experienced previous winner, Sir Archibald Douglas, or is it going to be the new knight Stilby? Head to head now, just the two of them. First pass. Well done. It does look as if Stalemate's been practicing on the quiet here. Well done, Stalemate. Second time of asking. She hasn't been forced to yield. She continues! Just again! Just him down! Bear him to the floor, stalemate! Come on, Sir Archibald. Ably assisted by Sir Cedric there. Here we go! Oh, another broken lance! 
Tell Archibald appears to be slightly injured there. Oh my goodness! He's got a piece of lance in him! Maybe she has got a bit of nobility in her. So Sir Cedric, being of a somewhat taller... Thank you a lot, and ladies! My squire is now a knight, and he's fully fledged in jousting! Yeah. She has won her first trophy, the first of men! Yes, indeed, Jackie. So... What's your background here? Oh, yeah.